Hi everyone, Terry Runyon here. I'm the author of Painting Happiness, Creativity with Watercolor, and I'm here to celebrate Watercolor Month with you by painting some blobs and changing them into birds. Let me show you how. Okay, here's my book, Painting Happiness, Creativity with Watercolors. And there's a lot of different projects in this book, but the one we're gonna focus on today is painting blobs and changing them into birds. So this is an example page and some ideas about adding details. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's have some fun. So I'm starting with this, it's a Creative Mark Mimic brush, very inexpensive uh, synthetic brush. And I'm loading it up with some red and I'm just gonna start making some blobs. I'm not thinking about birds, I'm just creating shapes. These are Windsor Newton watercolors. They are a tube paint. You can also use any kind of watercolor. You know, I do have in mind that maybe a bird has a tail while I'm doing this. So I'm adding a little bit of, a little something something as I go along here. But just a bunch of different colors. Maybe something that looks like a head. Now I'm not gonna get too crazy with my colors. I'm gonna try to keep it relatively simple. But I am mixing it up, how, what colors I have on each blob. So you just keep going, filling up your paper with blobs. Okay there. So I've got my watercolor down. And that was a lot of fun, nice and bright. Uh, in order to speed up this process, I'm gonna use my handy dandy hair dryer. Oops. Now that was a lovely, happy accident there that we'll play with. Now, of course you could use any paper for this, but I am using the Stonehenge Aqua Cold Pressed that is glued down on the side so that it doesn't warp as much if you use a thinner paper, then you're gonna get more warping, which is okay in a pinch. So don't let not having the right paper stop you. And next thing I'm gonna use is this Posca pen. It's white and it's super fine line. So to get it going, you gotta shake it. I usually get a piece of scratch paper to test it out before I go to putting any marks on my actual artwork. So it looks like it's running very well and I'm just gonna start adding eyes to these birds. I'm kind of mixing up the eye shape just to keep it more interesting. You can see I didn't put eyes on everybody because I wanted to do some variation. This little bird has just got happy eyes, which is an upside down U. I'm very fond of putting little adornments on the top of my birds. This is a um, Statler permanent size S black pen. I'm also gonna come in with this black Posca pen to put the pupils in these eyes. Back to the Statler for the beaks. It just gives you a little bit thinner line. And everybody needs some legs. 
There are no mistakes with blob birds. You just keep going, adding the details. And you can see right here, I ran my hand through some wet ink. I'm gonna add some wings now. And I'm just gonna use some different colors for the wings. They can be very, very simple. And you could just continue making details on your birds. Sky's the limit on what you can do. Birds are so great to draw because you can do all sorts of different patterns on them. Just keep going and in details. Last but not least, I'm going to add cheeks. There's something about cheeks that just makes me feel, makes it feel like they're just done. And it also adds cuteness. This is just a Prismacolor premium colored pencil, but any colored pencil will do. Don't forget to sign your work. Well, that's it. I hope you had a lot of fun changing your blobs into birds. This is a great exercise to do if you feel stuck or something and don't know what to do next. Just paint some blobs, any old shape, and add those details and you've got some birds. I'd love for you to share your birds. Please tag at Cuerto Creates and at Terry Runyon. We'd love to see what you're up to. Stay tuned to Cuerto Creates for more great tutorials and exciting giveaways. Happy creating!